going on, everybody? This is John Bain. I want to welcome you to Satisfactory. Hopefully you guys are doing good today. I'm doing really good myself. Don't want to forget to remind you guys, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be here when stuff happens. And we are making stuff happen today. Also, if you have not yet purchased the game and would consider doing so and like to help me out, I have an affiliate link down below that you can use. And I appreciate everybody that has done so. And um, it really does help me out. Either way, we are back here in the world. And I've done a lot of work since the last episode because I was trying to get caught up with like just stuff hanging out. We're not done with catching up with it but um i'll show you here in a second i did throw some crystal into the the research thing i think it's done now this is a rock quartz i'm sorry war rock quartz is complete uh, please choose a new specimen to be list a new and uh, begin a new analysis assist okay here's a message this type of quartz possesses optimal piezoelectric properties and can be utilized to create oscillators and silicon which are used in a variety of appliances a new milestone has been added to tier four. Additional research required. Okay. Uh, that's okay. Let's see what we got. What we got? Tier four. There we go. Explorer. Oh, map. Oh. Oh. Quartz crystal. Used for radar and quantum technology. Crystal oscillator and a crystal oscillator is an electronic oscillator circuit that uses the mechanical resources of a vibrating crystal to create an electrical signal with a precise frequency. Okay, there's the Explorer 25 slot inventory has built uh, has a built in craft bench, fast and nimble exploration vehicle tuned for really rough terrain and can climb almost vertical surfaces. That sounds really fun, actually. Um, and then the scanner for quartz. Okay, well, uh, do I have the stuff for this? I have motors. I don't know if I have enough rotors, though. Oh, yeah, my inventory is kind of full right now. Let me empty some of this stuff if I haven't filled back up yet. All right, we can get this as much as we can. Uh, can we get you? Uh, oh, only a couple slots left. That's fine. Uh, that should be enough. So it will be enough, actually. I, oh, modular frames. We have to make modular modulation frames. So uh, let me go ahead and throw this stuff in here. I want to. I want to. Uh, that map, man. The map for real, yo. That map. Um, so I need reinforced plates. I don't think I've got a hundred. No. So I, I need reinforced plates and screws, right? Let me get a whole row of these guys since we're not using them for, um, belts anymore. That should be more than an ample amount. Let me see what we got. Did I miss something? Modular frame. Oh crap. It's rods. Crap, crap, crap. Okay. Well, uh, we let me go ahead and get that. I'm ma making me a bunch of it, so I don't have to worry about it later. And um, we'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. I have crafted a bunch of stuff, but I, uh, extra from what I needed, just to make sure I had a little bit of overlap for other things in the future. But we are good to go with all the things that are necessary in which to click, clicky, clicky, and go. The button. We get the map. I want the map. Give me the map. Exploration-based technology unlocked. Quartz-based parts accessible along with a map of your Fixit approved designated zone in need of charting. The new vehicle is aimed at efficient travel speed and all-terrain handling. Very nice. Very, very nice. Oh my god. Oh yes. Oh, that is... Oh. oh, that is so nice. Oh, that... I can't get enough of this. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's kind of weird we have that portion. Is it just because of the water, I guess? Or the gap? Oh, there are probably gaps in the map. Hmm. We have a map. Finally, we have a map. We have a map. Oh, it shows elevations. Oh, I like this map. Good job. Good job. That's satisfactory AF. I am so happy. I have a map now. Ah, uh, I'm going to take a nap now. <laughs> uh, let's go and see what it takes to make the Explorer. Explorer. Uh, dirt, dirt. I thought it said it was in here. No, it's in our thing. It should be in here. Sorry, dur. <laughs> what was I thinking? Explorer. 
Uh, okay, so we need to be able to make these things, and that's going to take crystal or quartz to make that. So we, I have the heavy modular frames left over. I think I still got enough of those. If not, we can whip some up because I made some more modular frames. Um, we now have quartz on here. <laughs> okay, it's kind of out there. It's a bit out there. And that's not too bad. Okay. And I think I've been there before, too. Um, and let's look at the... Is it down here? Crystal Oscillator. And that takes quartz, crystal quartz, that, and reinforced plates. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Also... Do we now have... Wait, Alien Organs is open now? Is the Crystal Oscillator is available. Alien Organs is in here. I didn't know we had that available. Okay. I would have then researched that thing. There we go. Let's grab that. Let's go back over here. I'm going to throw those in the hole, too. We got to put them in the hole and analyze the hole. Uh, hole, hole. So down here to Alien Organs. Let's put you in there. Begin analysis. I thought he had it where I could use it for biofuel. It's scanning for a long time, though, so I don't know. I guess we'll find out here in a little bit. Uh, sorts. There we go. Sorts. So let me show you what we've done then while we wait for stuff to happen. And um, you guys can see what's been going on. So I did do a stream the other day and did some catch-up work over here. Uh, that needed to get done pretty badly. I still need to build those two factories. That factory and the factory. Whoa, crap, 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 crap. <clears throat> like I said, I still need to build these two factories uh, up and whatnot. But I'm going to do that, like, again, on my own time. Um, that one back there and this one. So those can get complete. Uh, we did do cleanups on our walkways, finally, um, for a portion of the section. So, so over here, we now have... Yes. Do I have that one back there too to get? Do I have to get that one out the way? I was testing something. They made it to where you cannot overlap conveyor stacks anymore. So you can't actually layer the bottom one to make it look nice and complete. So I was trying to get some solutions and I just gave up. I'm like, we're just going to do it as far down as it'll let me go. And that's it. I'm not going to worry about it. So over here, though, uh, finally got all the walkways done and tied in. Um, we did, uh, did the walkway into the steel factory. Well, the initial uh, steel processing area and uh, well, one of the steel processors. So now this comes down into the entrance of it like that. Also over here, I made this section. We got a little little plant power plant up here. Is that a tree back there or something? Yes. It, no. Oh, I left, the, left that up. <laughs> we have the entrance into here. So this is set up um, and then up along the way here, this continues to go up. And up, and I left that down for now until I decide what I want to do with running all the coal. But we have an entrance up to the coal factory, and I used a conveyor lift to do stuff with. And it looks like trees grew back and everything. Uh huh. But I used that, and it has. A, I put the conveyor stack on it, and it looks pretty nice. So this area is pretty much together how it's going to be. So we have that set up, and it, it's, it's, it's nice. I'm happy about that. Let me get rid of this guy back here. Because that should have been picked up. So uh, I at least got this part built and have access to everything on this. So it, it works out well. And then also uh, built the walkways over. I think it's quicker just to show you guys what I did than do it for an episode. Because it's, it's kind of this lots of the same, especially when you deal with the walkways. So let's go over here. I still have those down there from testing. I forgot to get rid of them. There we go. And then over here, I have the walkway system. They're actually feeding from the steel processing uh, storage area. They're feeding over to here, and they go down and under. I'm going to bring this guy across more later on to maybe hook it up to the convey the walkway systems we've got going around the other way. But then this leads to inside, and we have a nice entrance into our actual steel factory. Not refinery, but factory itself. So I'm happy about that. Uh, I think it looks good. Let's go over here now. And then I also have built, this is not on a stream, built 
you can see here a walkway system down the middle and then I've worked on this one too so we have two new sets of walkway systems one of them that has conveyor feeds underneath it too so over here as we continue to run and run and run and run and run right here we have one that continues this way and this way so we're going to take the central one first this one follows the route and i did run the power lines all the way down the middle um this one follows the route all the way back here there is an offset further up i had to do it to match it up with something else but you'll see and i don't mind it so much it is a factory so you're gonna have some squiggles here and there as long as they're tight squiggles which we've got you know you can only build 90s with this right now with the foundation so that's what we have and then this continues and this is leading down to over here and you can see this one's coming down here too and this has a, a set of slopes because you know we can only go four down and they've changed the degrees that a conveyor can be done though from 30 degrees to uh, 35 degrees so that's interesting but this leads back over to where the coal is at. And this has a lead back. And as you can see, we have conveyors underneath it feeding it back up. And I have an idea. I want to see if you guys let me know in the comments down below. Uh, do you want to see this? I'm going to build a stacked up um, power section here. I'm going to redo the power and reroute how coal goes in the back of here. And to the others, the very, very first coal thing we built. I want to build the stack type of coal feed. So I'm thinking about running these guys in underneath a basement. Have this have a raised floor, put the cold generators on top, and then use conveyor lifts to feed up in there so it's nice and clean up top and all the messiness is down below and try to make something kind of nifty with it. I might want to expose. I'll probably leave the cold generators exposed and then build some interesting things around this. I don't mind doing it on my own time, but if you guys want to see it in an episode, let me, please let me know in the comments. That's the only way I know if, if you guys, you know, and stuff like that, you know? You know what I'm saying? So uh, what I want to do is I want to get some quartz. I, I loaded up some of my stuff in here so I could have room to go and do things. But I want to get some quartz. So uh, what I'm going to do is take all my regular stuffs with me. And we're going to do... I'll probably do a miner over there. Wait, no, 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 no. I'm going to do a lot of little miners. So I'm going to bring a lot of little miners with me and do it there. So what I'm going to do is do that. I'm going to get it over there. We're going to, I'm going to load it up, and I guess I can show you guys where it's at. I'm going to throw a beacon on it, too. Um, it, it's, it's so nice. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. I forgot to check something. Is it pinging on here, too? Oh, my God, it does. Oh, that is so nice. Oh, that is so nice. Very nice. Uh, cookies. Lots of cookies. So many cookies. So many cookies. So uh, I'll give you the ride back on this one, and then we'll, we'll head on over and get the quartz. Uh, I need to go back and make me a bunch of miners. But um, there's another one somewhere, too. Oh, yeah, there is. Nice. It's pretty cool. I really like the fact that we have a map now. It makes me want to explore more because then I can visually see what we've opened up and what we haven't. So this feeds all the way back to, this stays as a straight line, all the way back. This took a little while to do too. I spent a whole uh, evening just, that's all I did was build walkways, 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 walkways. And this leads down to our split that's leading over the Katerium, which we need to get that up. And I do want to work with oil soon, but um, I need to build things over there I, we're getting close to when the train updates are supposed to happen too so i don't know if i want to hold off until trains happen but i probably will build trains if i don't have plastic and circuit circuit boards and stuff so i probably need to just get over there off my butt and, and make it happen i hate using the tractors and trucks and stuff i'd rather just play around and with conveyors and and trains so either way um yeah that's how it comes back let me go ahead and get suited up i'm gonna head over to the courts so i guess we can be back there for a brief second then come back and get some new things checked out and built you guys hold on so i found out where the quartz is uh, i'm hoping i can go around this uh, i did find some uranium um in an underground cave on the way here that had uh some spiderlings just just wanted to hang out really bad so i killed them well i i, I let them go to sleep actually honestly i didn't, I didn't 
But um, anyway, uh, the uranium, when you're near it, will hurt you slightly. And when you grab uranium, it will hurt you a lot. Like, serious business. There we go. We can get up here. There's the baddie right there. There he is. Missed ya. Give me your flesh. There we go. And here is oh, another one. Oh, it's a big boy. Oh, crap. Um. Oh, yeah. It's one of these guys. Crap. Give me some, like, place to hide behind. Uh, do I have any shots left on my gun? I have one shot left. Woo! It's okay. Ten shots do not work. Oh, I still have ammo. Missed. kind of weird. I guess I, I I didn't know you could break those. Is he dead? Okay, I don't mind wasting a little bit of ammo just to make sure he's dead. Okay, so we are here. Here's the crystal of the quartz. I keep calling it crystal. I don't know what the deal is with me on this. I'm going to remove like a bunch of these guys so I can put a bunch of these guys and I'm going to slam as many. Wait, you can't put more than one on at a time? I was about to say. And I'm going to just slam all these down that I can fit and just get kind of crazy with it. You going to start on the edge. Here. I did put down two of these on the uranium. Should I want have a way to fight the radiation and gather it in for futurizations and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I'm going to run all these guys. I'm going to try to fill up my entire inventory that I have left to... Uh, bring back with me since it was a little bit of a trip to get here. It took me a few uh, about where we at on the map. Um, yeah, you can see where I'm at right now. And there's uranium right there. And I entered down in a valley here and it had a cave system that led over to there. So that's how I got to the uranium. But anyway, uh, let me go ahead and get the gatherization pro process going on here 100%. And uh, we'll be right back. All right, we made it back. Uh, brought me, I found another Summer Flange Mercer and Sluggo, and then sort this, we'll put these guys in here too, just to make it nice and pretty. Um, uh, and then we have, oh, we, we have the Alien Organ Research. It's complete, okay. Nothing. Okay. Hmm. Is there something else that we got then? Did it do anything? Oh, medical inhaler. Oh, we can make medical inhalers from them. What? Are you serious? All right, we'll take that. I'll do it. Um, let me do. Oh, we need to do the quartz thing too. Um, quartz crystal. Uh, so I have to make quartz crystal from this now. Quartz crystal. I can make sixteen hundred. Let's just make a few. Like, maybe, I don't know, maybe... Well, this isn't going by too slow. But let's do 100 and then play around with the oscillator. I just want to see what that looks like on the ground, too, or at least on a conveyor belt. Actually, I'm kind of interested in seeing one of these, too, on the conveyor. All right, and the oscillator now, we just need cables and reinforced plates, right? All right, so let's grab some cables. Let's grab some reinforced plates. And let's make us a few oscillators. Okay. I think we need to five for the research. Before we do that, let's check out and see what these look like on the conveyors. I, I'm inter interested in seeing this. Oh, cool. It's in little bins, little trays. That's neat. I like that. And how about you? Okay. Wow. Okay, nice job, guys. Nice job. Oh my God, that nice job. Excellent job. Excellent job. That that's that's what I'm talking about. It's not just a little bag. It's not some like some. It, they they look good. They look good. I like that. Awesome. Okay, so we have that. Let's go ahead and choose the research for you. Uh, oscillators. We need ten. Oopsie. Let's make ten because we have enough for it. There we go, baby. 
wait oh i almost have enough for it let's grab some more cable right here and finish that up okay there we go so there we have that let's go ahead and go into you let's drop in the oscillator we have more alien organs to research are you serious Okay, begin analysis. 22 minutes on that. Okay, so while that's analyzing, um, again, what do we need for the Explorer? Uh, let's put that up there. And so what I'm going to do is go ahead and just turn all this quartz into crystal. And uh, then I'm going to get the other stuff together. We'll come back. Hopefully the other research is done so we can do the other things. And I'm going to go ahead and do the medical inhaler as well since I have that stuff too. So let me go through all this stuff and we will return shortly. Okay, we got everything done, whipped up, ready to go. I'm going to throw in all the quartz crystal we have in here for now just because it looks cool. And um, I did want to check this and see what we got out of here. And now Chris has complete completion of new specimen for is there anything? Incoming message. These particular quartz-based crystal oscillators are optimal for limited radar technology. R and D has provided a new milestone in tier five with a derived building. Ah. Really? Okay. Tier five. Radar technology. Radar tower. Reveals an area around itself on the map. The area grows over time to a max placing the tower higher up increases the max area revealed really oh that's really cool it's gonna take a lot of mats to do that but one thing I, i'm looking forward to doing that uh oh we're gonna open up the other animal carpus thing alien organs sorry alien organs uh 10 of them how long is this gonna take 30 minutes oh, holy crap well we'll find out it's like sausage a little bit mmm sausage Okay, uh, I'm going to drop all of these guys in here with the rest of them. And then that way that's going. But we do have the mats together for our explorer. I'm excited for this. Ha ha ha. Okay, this bad boy looks pretty wicked. Let's go to this mode so I can look at it without... It's got a little winch in the back. I thought it's usable. That thing looks sporty as hell. It should say fix it up there. I'm just saying. All right, so let's get out of this. Let's drive it. Oh, we need we need to put gas in it too. And it has a crafting bench on it too. Yes, it has a workstation. I'm sorry. A workstation on it. We have gas here. I'm going to throw these in the hole with it. This way we have gas waiting to be done. It is a craft bench. Okay, okay. Okay, so that's all in there. Let's get in here. Near vertical surfaces, huh? Oh, that hurt. Okay, so can't do that. Oops, my bad. So how well does it handle, like, rocks? Not that well. Okay. Let's try this little near vertical first surface here. Come on, baby. Woo! Okay, that was kind of cool. Yeah, baby. Oh, look at the, the shocks on this thing, too, man. The struts. This is actually really cool. Oh, the traction is amazing. And it will turn in the air some. All right, let's do a big jump. Big jump. Oops. All right, there's a slug here, but we're not worried about the slug. Oh, woo! Ow. <laughs> okay, this is super cool. This is the way to travel, guys. This is way better than the uh, the trucks and stuff. Holy crap! Yeah, I like this. Excuse me, big guy. Up oh, my bat. Up oh, my bat. Oh my god, did I kill you? Oh, I killed him. 
No, I didn't. Okay, okay, okay. I was about to say, I was going to feel bad. I'm, I mean, a broken femur is one thing. Okay. Yeah, this thing's neat. It'd be cool if we could upgrade it and have a little booster on the back. Rocket booster technology. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, not too mad at this thing. Okay, I, I like it better than... I am getting a little choppiness. Um, I, I am liking it better than the other vehicles. So this is... This is the winner right here for me. Okay, I don't hate all the vehicles. I'm, I'm my bad. I mean, there's nothing wrong with them. I just don't... I prefer to see my stuff on conveyor belts, honestly. Well, there's... The AI to have fun with too, but can I get a full speed partial jump? Neat. So what's considered an almost vertical surface? Okay, I could get up that. How about over here on this one? Oh wow. Oh wow. Wow. Okay. That's actually really good. Now I'm upside down. Does it flip back over? Yeah, baby. Yeah, well, that's pretty cool. Oh, it flips it. Oh, interesting. Very nice. Cool. Well, that's interesting. Um, I feel like that's a pretty, pretty nice setup, actually, um, especially with what we can handle. Look how much gas we've used. Biofuel. Oops, don't break that. Oh, my God. I didn't mean to break that. Whatever. Big jump. Big jump. Not really. And he flipped again. There we go. There we go. That way to do it. Okay. Wait, this, this isn't doing a chasm. Yes, it is. It's going to hurt. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. Who needs trees? Not me. Which this would break rocks. Okay. Well, neat. Okay, cool. I know I keep saying that and then I keep driving. I'm sorry. It's like he's like, Ming, boingy, boingy. <laughs> Nifty. And it handles really well, considering. Crawl up the side. I was hoping to crawl up the side. That'd be so cool. Uh, 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 uh. Yes. No. Yes. What are we doing? I don't know. Let's flip over. Okay. There we go. <laughs> that is super cool. What? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, it, it seems like pretty fun. You can do some races with it. Let's park you in our parking. Let's go right here. I'm back in. Wait, wow. Okay. We got we to get it right. We got to get back at him nice and well, decently. Well, cool. Uh, nice job. I wonder if you could drive with somebody on top of it and not go anything. That is nifty. Um, I guess we could do wait for that one last bit of technological things that finish up here. How long? Uh, we have 22 minutes for it just to see what the last one is. Um, and I do know I was told they can unequip my gun and upgrade that, but I don't know what it, I don't. I already don't have circuit board crafting technology done yet. So I really just rather keep the gun until we can do that to upgrade it. But man, that's really cool. Um, yeah, I guess I'll wait a minute and see what that is. And we'll come back and finish out some things. So you all you know the deal. Okay, the alien organs are almost ready to be done being researched. But I figured since we've been unlocking stuff, we could go ahead and do the Caterium Electronics, which is the Smart Splitter, AI Limiter, Supercomputer, and High Speed Connector. So, yeah, we're going to do that one. 
Um, let me go ahead and throw these guys in here since I made all these extra mats today. Might as well put them to good use today, too. Ready for the launch pad? Let's do this. A more specialized use of Peterium has been unlocked. Smart splitters and new advanced electronic parts are now available. So, we now have a smart, 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 a little bit of glitters right here and it takes wow motor ai and whatnot so what does it take to make an ai unit probably circuit boards and some other stuff right uh what must have missed it right there ai limiter it is yeah, circuit boards and quick wire huh, and how many do we need to make it really huh let's check, let's check it out right quick then i guess we should have uh Maybe a lot to the next episodes. <laughs> uh, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's see this one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's do this here. And uh, we needed a motor for actually placing it too. Man, we, we definitely need to get into, we need to, um, we're probably gonna have a bunch of episodes coming up. We're doing a lot more building. Just in case you're wondering, we need to get into taking care of everything. Also get the bus working. We have a lot of stuff to do, which is fine. Uh, that was pretty quick. So, smart splitter here. So, let's see this thing. Configure it. So, any, and then we can choose specific splitting techniques. And then the right output, we can't do any, or can we do any? So, that's actually not too horrible. Um... And how close... Oh, I don't have the stuff on me to check this. I wonder how close we can do it. Probably the turns handle the same way as the mergers and splitters. Hmm, that'd be great uh, to build a massive splitting system to where whenever all these are full and I want to reintroduce them into our um, our bus that I have a, a, a separated storage box that I throw into and it fills it out and splits it up and puts it back into the correct storage. That'd be kind of cool to build something like that. I don't know if I have enough room for that. That would take a lot of these. Considering even on this side, we pretty much have all the slots full, except for two. And we have a lot of stuff we haven't had up yet. So that might be something we could consider down the road. I don't know. Uh, let's check the alien organs. It is done. Now it says the alien organs is complete. Please choose a new specimen. Okay, so what do we get for this one? It doesn't say. Does it say over here? Let's see. Rebar scatter gun. Oh, wow. Okay, uh, that's... Okay, well, we'll worry about that next time. Because I need to start grabbing mats and stuff. I still need to unlock you. God, we have a lot of things to do. It's great. But that is the time I have for today. Because we've actually been taking up a lot of time just to do a little bit we did. I do think this is actually the, my favorite vehicle so far. I guess we need to make the truck. We need to make all three and do like a little comparison ratio thing of funness. And stuff like that. But um, we got the court stuff going on. That's unlocked. They unlocked the animal high organs thing. And, uh, and actually, Caterium Electronics is, looks like it might prove to be interesting to use in futurizations and stuff. But either way, let me know what you think down in the comments down below. And as always, guys, thank you so very much. And you all, have a good night.